Hey, Will. Hey, Steve. We are back again, aren't we? Yes. Another year, another no-view video for E3, but fuck it, we're still doing it because we want to. Yep. So, we're doing Bethesda. Um, don't know if we're going to do any of the other ones except for Nintendo, just because, well, we work. Um, I'm 100% doing Square Enix. Uh, yeah, well, you know what, maybe we'll, I'm... we'll, we'll do something. We'll find a way, we'll find a way. Um, so we're about to get started here. It's just turned 8.30, 5, excuse me, 5.30. In the West Coast. <clears throat> so it should be starting up any minute now. Yep. And we get new look, I guess a new look at the, uh, expansion for Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, so... What do you think is going to happen? I'm thinking Todd's going to come out on that stage and just grow. Oh, what if they just don't even have Todd out there? He's so embarrassed about 76. Probably. I don't know. He seems like the guy that doesn't don't give a fuck that go on stage even if the crowd hated him. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. So we mostly just decided to do this today for the drama. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Dos, 9, vita, 8, she, 7, uh, 6, uh, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, 1, uno. 1, 0. Are you doing the Futurama countdown? From, yeah. From, yeah, okay. I was doing my own Futurama. Now you're doing the Futurama one. <laughs> Again, sorry for the bit of bad quality, but... We can only do what YouTube lets us have. Without you, there is no game. There's no one to play it. No one to interact with it. So we'd be very, very sorry if you guys are playing 76 right now. Yeah, we're we're sorry. You are definitely not afraid to tell us how you feel. Also, sorry that Blades was a microtransaction nightmare. Your feedback sometimes challenges. I heard Blades is fun. No, it's like a nightmare microtransaction yourself. nightmare. With us as um, and with that's what I heard, but I I'm sure it's fun when, you know, you they let you play it. But there's cooldown timers on everything, apparently. Probably not as bad as the Harry Potter game, though. That one, literally, Ron would be choking to death, and it said... Insert a buck fifty, or wait ten minutes. <laughs> it's like what the fuck. I'm Dana Cristo, and I started out as a sixteen-year-old gamer who just wanted to bring joy to others through video games. And now I'm game director at Arkane Studios. Now I'm a game programmer at Ed Software. Now I get to be a part of building that world as the creative director on Elder Scrolls Online. Now I'm a UI programmer at Bethesda Game Studios, and it's everything I could have dreamed of. I well, see you. I see you. I see you. We see you because we are you. And together, 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 we are all. 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 Oh, hell. I like how they got those minorities right up front. <laughs> Yeah, alright. Damn. So, I'm kind of excited because, you know, I really like Doom. I like Fallout. I like... I, hell, I really like um, Rage 2. Yeah. Um, I, pl I, I run it off of Redbox, and as soon as it drops to a price that I can afford, I'll pick it up. Definitely solid. Although, I will say that it definitely doesn't help the fact that I think... I think we are just tired as a generation of open world shooters. Open world shooters. Yeah, uh, just something's got to change with them, you know? Yeah. Just because, you know, they're getting kind of samey and... It's just like World War II shooters. We got sick of them and now we kind of want them again, you know? So... Let's let's see if they change anything. Let's see what Bethesda did. Wow, the clarity got really good as soon as they cut to the crowd. 
Oh, of course he was just stealing a seat. Of course. Like, that, bro... That poor sap who lost his seat. Like, bro, one more person could have gotten in there. You're a selfish jerk. Alright, let's see what Pete Hines has to tell us. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you? Feel good? I'm alright. Tired. Kind of went pizza. Thank you guys for yeah, I'm here. sacrificing getting my favorite pizza world. place to see... Be here with you. Yeah. Watching these lies. Live. You mean the truth. My favorite pizza place. Gonna have cold pizza tomorrow. Because I'm here with you. This That's is the great, buddy. This is the sacrifice I make for all of you. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Only you can offer pizza to Steve. Yeah. One, one I should start up pizza. A Patreon just so they can buy me pizza. I should do that. Yeah, we'll make a Patreon where you can sign up and you can fork over money so he can get his pizza. Yep, Daddy wants his pizza. Only you can feed Steve. This year, we want to give special recognition to the extraordinary Bethesda community. As you showed, as you saw in our opening video, you mean everything to us. I've always Aww. been at this company for 20 years. And when I first started... Todd Howard lied to me. Todd Howard lied to me <laughs> on the first day I got in. <laughs> he said I was the best person for the job. Nope, he, it was just a prank. <laughs> ...with moderating the community forums chatting with you and keeping you up to date on our games it was a great and after the third suicide attempt now i'm here <laughs> todd oh, howard hired me after i tried to kill myself oh no 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 you see moderating the forum that's what makes you want to kill yourself it's like imagine looking at the youtube comments section all day uh, oof we are thrilled tonight to show our fans... Uh, you know, I really liked to Prey, but I just wasn't good enough at it, you know? Like, it, it had a difficulty balance that was really good, but just this wasn't... This conference is going to be heavily doomed. They really like... I can feel it. They really like going to cutting that one girl. Yeah, she's nice. She's beautiful. I guess. ...from our friends at one of the most celebrated development studios in the world, Bethesda Game Studios. Please welcome Studio Head and my good friend, Todd Howard. Oh, wow! Todd Howard, tell Please you. don't clap. Please don't clap. It, Sorry. It, it, it's bad for my... Don't clap. Cause Just, he... wow! Look at these paid chills up in the front clapping for him. Everybody gets free game. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Please, Great no one shoot me. Everybody. We checked all of you for a gun. We have had... <laughs> You may all be seated. Shh, I want to hear what he says. Given some of that excitement, impressed you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> Give me a refund. Actually, over the last you didn't year, buy the game. No, but it still deserved money. <laughs> 60 million players in our games are most ever. And it's all of you. Now we have six. The only people willing to play our games are sitting right here it's watching all me. Of you who have made these worlds what they are. Take Fallout 76. Boo! Look at yeah, that. Yeah, the crowd's cheering. No, that's only the front. Only the front. A type of game we'd never done before. Had a lot of and difficulties we... at launch. And we oh. got a lot of well-deserved. Everybody's players. laughing. Mm-hmm. All right, come on. Let me see how you're going to fix it. Come on. Come on, Tidy Boy. Lie to me. Tell me the sweet little eyes. Playing it. And through all of that, something amazing has happened. It's thanks to all of you. This game has one of the best online communities we've ever seen. We made a <laughs> survival game where you can do whatever you want, and everybody's nice to each other. By force. They don't go on killing griefing sprees. They leave food and water for the newbies and wave to each other. I don't know about you. It's literally because you're for because literally there's that's no that's point in PV, PVP because literally unless I engage with you, you can't do shit and to me. A lot more in store this year for Fallout 76. But first, our latest game, The Elder Scrolls Blades, is an early access. 
and thanks to all of you, it became I'm our rich. second straight number one mm. mobile game after Fallout Shelter. Absolutely incredible. See, I figured it was going to be like Fallout Shelter. Yeah, there's wait times, but it's not that bad. And but to tell you what's coming to play, know. let me introduce project leader Craig Lafferty and art director Matt Carafano. Oh, is Todd going to walk completely off the stage? I bet he's never coming back on that stage tonight. Uh-huh. Thanks, Todd. It's great to be here at E3. And thanks again to all of you for making Blades number one. As someone who's worked on the Elder Scrolls for 20 years, it's been incredible to bring this world to your phones in an all-new way. We still love those classic Gee, thanks. crawlers. And it's I, miss, I, I really well. was hoping that Matt was going to be here because he's the Bethesda fanboy and he had more experience with Blades. Um, so he would have been able to tell us about it. But um, I haven't heard great things about it, but I've also have heard great things about it at the same time. It's a, it's a, it's a paradox, really. Yeah, I got to put those dragons in there. That's the only thing that sells... Elder Scrolls now. Honest to God. If it doesn't have a dragon, it's not going to sell. And if you can't slay it, it's not going to sell. Cool. Let me just not go down on that. I don't want it. And give it a try. And we're also hard at work on our arena mode for this fall that will feature PvP, your own guilds, and visiting your friends' towns. But most exciting this year, we're also bringing Blades to an all-new platform. Switch Blades. Oh. <laughs> oh, Switch I thought it was going to pull out like a knife. <laughs> Alright, well maybe I will get it if it's on the Switch. You know? My next... Because I, I, don't, I don't like mobile games because I don't like the way that they, like, hurt my phone, you know? Hey. They like the Switch. I, I might pick this up for the Switch. Might be fun. Unless it's not, and if it's not, then eh. Yeah. Oh, coming fall 2019. Alright. <sighs> Watch it be like 60 bucks. Look, look, look at all the crowd. You saw that, right? They're all downloading it right now. It's still free. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's free for, fit for the Switch. Free to download. On your TV and with motion controls. You can play Skyrim while shitting again. With the mobile version. <laughs> so you can start tonight on mobile and all your progress will carry over. And it's playable here at E3 in our booth and Nintendo's. Yeah. Cool. All right. They really like to go to that girl. I don't know why. Maybe she's a secret employee. Oh, probably. Thanks <laughs> again. Yeah, they probably just picked one of the most interesting to look at people in the crowd. Oh, there's another one. I think they're just going for girls. Yeah, because like, girls are beautiful. Yeah. All right. Again, I don't. Seventy-six. I don't think Todd's gonna come back out. <laughs> Hi, I'm project leader Jeff Gardner, and I'm co-studio director Tom Mustaine. On behalf of everyone at Bethesda Game Studios, we want to thank the millions of you who have played with us, stuck with us, and helped shape the world of Fallout 76. You mean the 76ers. You can thank the NBA team, the 76ers, Absolutely. for that. It's incredible what the <laughs> because <laughs> Fallout 76. You, um, you know what? At this point with the litigious bullshit, so I'm surprised they haven't sued. Legendary weapons, player vending, and of course, the dreaded sheep squatch. <laughs> We've the also fucking working what? our biggest update yet. It's called Wastelanders. And it will fundamentally change the game. By making it work? It's been some time. Sorry, I'm a salty bitch today. You're salty about everything today. Yeah. Appalachia isn't quite what it used to be. I think it's because I have so much love for Bethesda IP, but so much hate for how janky they make it. I don't think any of us expected for people. If you can straight up pan for gold, that'd be actually kinda cool. Oh, hey, look, they're going to add NPCs and shit. We've traveled pretty far. 
heard there's hope here in Appalachia. Folk rebuilding, fighting back. Oh look, they're actually adding the game to the game. Right by your side. Yep. Yeah, look at that. They're adding the game to the game. Been everywhere and seen it's only been a year. And the one thing we've learned Wait, has it been a year? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, it has been one year since 76 has been out. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Your greatest nightmare and your pet. Oh my god, what if you could make one a pet? Do you know how many people would be disgusted with you? You made that thing your pet? Get it out of our house! Nevers. That's right, that's right. Human NPCs are coming to Fallout 76. <laughs> Not just NPCs, but a full quest line, new rewards, and as you saw, full dialogue trees. All right, cool. This is a long-term story we're telling. Year one was about the vault doors opening and all of you settling the wasteland. Year two is about people coming back to reclaim it. Like previous Fallout games, these characters have their own stories and goals. It's up to you to choose how to interact with them and live with those consequences. The wastelanders are murder coming all of them. And we'll be that sounds like a plan. I'm gonna murder all of them. Oh my god, what if what if he's like, dude, I want to do those quests. Well, sorry. We killed all the NPCs. And in the spirit of free, we're doing something special just for E3. Fallout 76 is going to have a free trial for everyone starting tomorrow. Alright. I'm probably not going to do that because that's a hundred fucking gigs or something crazy like that. Time to see what Fallout 76 and its growing community have become. We can't wait to welcome all of you. And because so many of you are going to be joining us, we thought we'd also give you a sneak peek this week at an all-new game mode. Check it out. It's called Team Deathmatch. It's new. I wonder if it's going to be third-person view. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's actually going to be a game mode. Now, your real trial begins. Currently, there is no overseer of Vault 51. Perhaps you will be the one. We are in serious need of leadership, so I have devised a unique process of elimination. A battle to the death is the only sure Johnny Cash's ver version was better. This should prove interesting. Yeah, but this cover's cheaper. So you know why they have um, West Virginia in here, right? Instead of the classic 50s stuff? Uh, no. Because the guy's estate who owns that song yeah, has been pushing to um, up the value of it. That's why it's been in everything recently. Oh. Mm hmm So he's the one that, said, that sang that West Virginia song. Yeah, the original artist, not this guy who's covering it. Oh. Because that guy died in like the 70s in a plate crash. Uh. But he was a really good artist, and he had, like, a couple out there. The real bitch of that is that someone's running around in heels. There can only be one overseer. Good luck. Cool. I mean, I saw that coming, but cool. Okay, so they have uh, everybody's battle royale. Just what we need, another battle royale. You know what? You know what? Fuck that. In the next Call of Duty, instead of the battle royale, just bring back team deathmatch, like free for all, big domination mode, just with a bigger map. That's all. Slightly bigger, not too big, not too small. My personal favorite, nukes. It's a great free addition to an already huge game. We love playing it, and we think you will, too. You're not even playing it. You're working on it. <laughs> you know, like, you're not even playing it, man. You're just the guy behind the numbers on it. He can let us know what you think. 
Remember, all of Fallout 76, including Nuclear Winter, is free to try this week on... Add the 76ers as characters. Oh my god, what if? Nah, that's expensive. Adding, adding like, athletes to something is expensive. Can't wait to see you. Thanks again. It is, but it would make Fallout 76 more more sense because you have the 76ers team. Remember, everything we've talked about that's coming this year is free. We get to represent hundreds of passionate developers across four studio locations in North America working on multiple projects. Yes, we're still hard at work on our next-gen RPGs, Starfield, and of course... Elder Scrolls 6. And of course, you won't see that shit for another five years. We know how precious these game worlds are to all of you, and they are to us. We know the time you spend in them is You important. said he wouldn't show Keep up again. Keep telling us what you love. Uh, all right, so I was wrong. Better. Thank you again, everybody, for your support. But really, even more so, I want to thank everybody for believing in us. Thank you. I thought I honestly all hail Beth the Bethesda. I honestly thought they were gonna go. Okay, see you guys. Bye. I'm like, wh wh wow. Yeah, they just conned everybody out of their money. You no, know, I mean like if you just gonna announce the one Fallout thing, that'd be like wow. Tango, Tango down. In Tokyo. It's Monday morning there, but they are watching. <laughs> All the weebs. <laughs> he I pointed out that. I learned that on Duolingo. Hey, Duolingo is a good app. Ghostwire Tokyo. New IP. Okay. I'm intrigued. Let's see what you got there, buddy. It is an action adventure game in which you will fight paranormal enemy and the great city of supernatural evil. I think you have it. Yeah. To tell you more about Ghostwire Tokyo, here is creative director at Tango, Ikumi Nakamura. Yay! Well, hello there. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow, well, so many people. Wow, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Ikumi. <laughs> hey. Ikumi san. Bruh. Makes me nervous. Bruh. Keep the wave energy low. Okay. Keep trying to, we're trying to be a respectful business here. Alright. Alright. Okay. I'll do the New Yorker thing. What? That, that is clearly an English accent. What the fuck? I'll do the New Yorker thing. Dude, dude just talk normal. Alright. I'm gonna talk normal now. Okay. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's not for good. All right, I'm not a cop or anything, but I'll give it my best shot. You have to you have to explore the world, face challenges, to uncover the truth and save humanity. Just show us gameplay. We'll understand better. Some dangerous, some beautiful. Um. And survivors that each have I don't know. I mean, if you just showed me straight up d Death Stranding gameplay, I wouldn't understand a goddamn thing. I ask myself this question every time I go to Target. Target. <laughs> every time she goes to Target. Yeah, she said office. Oh, office. I know it's kind of it's kind of a weird. Her microphone's a little weird, isn't it? Like, she wasn't, like, properly mixed. I... Okay, trailer. All right, let's see what this is about. Okay, graphics look pretty dope for EA or... Bethesda. 
No, I mean, I mean for an EA tra- uh, E3 trailer. <laughs> EA Ugh. was yesterday, dude. Yeah, God, I I tried to do that solo after you left, and they're like, nope, we got the Star Wars trailer. That's all. Because Star Wars the only dude, thing dude. that interested me. Oh my God, dude. Some people like just started just screaming out, "What the fuck?" People getting raptured over here. What the shit? Yeah, people are getting Thanos, man. What the fuck? What if they all come back and everyone's like, "Oh no, we're all naked." Shit. Oh no! Someone saved the sheep you. Yeah, I'd freak the fuck out too. What? The fu- are we playing as the fucking uh, are are we nomad or n- not nomad? Uh, the, the 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 holy shit, R- Rog- R- Rog- Ronin, Ronin, yes. Oh god, I couldn't. Ronin. Oh holy. man. Oh, oh my what goodness, the hell? what? This is du- yo. Oh, everybody's flying up. What the fuck is? Oh, oh god, oh, that. It's gonna taste Oh my well. goodness, dude. Have you seen those anime noodle ads? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everyone do your favor do yourself a favor and just t- t- type in anime ramen ad. Or cup noodle ad. Attack it. Don't fear Don't fear the unknown. Attack it. Alright! Ghostwire. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested. Cause what the fuck was that? No idea. But it definitely is on my radar now. It's just blip. There it is. As the games, I work as a mechanical engineer. I work in a hospital. I used to work with kids. Uh, I'm an electrician. I'm an event planner. In real life, I'm a systems. Uh, I'm... When I'm not playing video games, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! You stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> I was just been. about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's really uh... <laughs> I like how we're on the same la- wa- wave today, man. You, I mean, you hit me up with them chicken nuggets and them fries, and that's exactly what I wanted. And then you gave me that root beer, and it was, it was, you know, it was nice. But uh, Australia's a prison colony for a reason, because that was some fucking prison hooch that you, oh, you gave were, me. You, oh my god, I tried that. Actually it tasted it. like old medicine. What the fuck? No, the first, the beginning taste is oh, yeah, good. Yeah, and then it's like the aftertaste is like. Medicine. Yeah. It's like it's like just like I just drank it cough tastes, syrup. <laughs> it's like, like I drank an actual beer. Oh god! It's like oh. you got that beer aftertaste. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. You look out and you'd be like, oh. Oh, I want to go there. And then you could. But you know what? You did good though, buddy. Gold star. <laughs> I'm trying. They I'm are just really dying stretching. In this heat. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you can probably hear the flop sweat coming off of us because it is. 99 degrees where we are, and for your for quality control, we turned off all the fans. Yep, so you could have clear sound. So as clear sound as I can get. And it's still not good enough, I know. We need to soundproof this room, we need to get a carpet down in here, we need to get dual mics going, you know, on a mixer, but that costs okay. money and I don't got that shit, so... But only for one dollar a day will All you right. support us. Elder Scrolls you Online. Support. You could have you could have skipped the whole hey I'm a fan and I like playing video games sometimes. Um and just showed Elder me this. Elder Scrolls Online. Like honestly, if you don't have a full hour, don't do a full hour. Yeah, just say so. Like square, just, square. just say hey, we only got like twenty four, minutes four worth. Yeah. Greg there, the one in the video that really loves dragons. I'm happy to say, Greg. The Elder Scrolls Online has dragons. <laughs> now let me show you some cool new mounts. Just just a half hour of cool new mounts you can get. You can get a horse. You can get another horse. You can get a donkey. You can get a white tiger, but I missed that somehow. Yeah. Only the I think only the PC version. Dude, got they, that. they said hey, that'll be like twenty bucks, and I was like, nah, I think I'm done playing this game. Literally would not exist without you. I only play what? ESO I, this, if our friend plays ESO. Yeah. But and honestly, also, God, we played like 15 hours of that game, so I mean, we gave it a fair shake. It's, it's it was so, okay. So, I mean, it just doesn't have the same feel as Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. 
is today. I, I like my the past chocobos. The has been a huge success for ESO. More Game of the Year awards, millions more players have joined. Yeah. So, I don't know. So many, in May, fact, that we maybe recently, if they offer so that White Tiger again, White Tiger mount, I'll jump back in. But Or maybe if our friend time. jumps back in or something. ESO, I don't know. Oh. ESO just keeps getting bigger and better. Just a few days ago, we launched the Elder Scrolls Online elsewhere. The latest chapter... <laughs> Oh, I was about to say where China. Oh, but like elsewhere, yeah. Yeah, that's the new one that just came out. As well as control the dead as the new necromancer class. And if Ew, I don't want to be a necrophile. Elsewhere. Ah, that sounds cool. I don't. I'm not a. I'm not a skeleton fucker. Go, my pets. I know some people turn everybody into zombies. And we ended with a cliffhanger. Now, I'm really excited to show you what happens next. Check out the world premiere. What? What happens next after Elsire? I, I don't know. Kitty! <laughs> see, I could never live in the world of Skyrim because I'd see a Khajiit and I'd just run up to it and pet it. I'd be like, hey, that's racist. I'm like, but you're so cute, won't pet you. <laughs> but then they'll be like, oh, and you want a bone? I'm like, whoa. I mean, I know you play past the Harker test, but uh, not a furry. <laughs> what if this is what the graphics look like all the time? Dude, I'd be so happy. That's just what graphics look like? Yes. But then what would movies look like? Movies would look like shit, you know? Yeah. Because it's like, I'd just rather be home playing the game, because at least I could do this. <laughs> yeah. Alright, but, but I... straight up, though, fire graphics in games have gotten amazing in, the, in this gen. So yes. I can't wait to see what fire graphics is going to look like next gen. I can't wait to see what the rain falling looks like next <coughs> time. More clear, more better. Is that a dragonborn? I think so. I think he might be a dragonborn. Might be a dragonborn, yeah. But dragonborns don't exist yet. Is What? what? Really? Yeah, because this takes place 4,000 years before Skyrim. Huh. Before Elder Scrolls. Well, 5, I thought I Dragonborns say. were just people like like it was like the Avatar, just someone just born with the ability. Uh, Wait, I don't remember like skeleton bros just hanging out. I think that guy's a necromancer. But that I don't remember explain. necromancers being a thing. Well, they came out with the new expansion. All right. And this is the video based on the new expansion. I. Yeah, the only thing that turned me off on this game was I got the werewolf disease, but the problem is is that when I turn into a werewolf, uh -huh. the image, it just doesn't look, it doesn't top of how they made the werewolf look in Skyrim. Yeah. In, in, in Elder Scrolls V, the yep. werewolf looks really badass. Yeah. In this, it looks like... Honestly, a PS2 wolf. Khajiit should have immunity to werewolf and vampirism. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I just they're feel like an that would animal be... race. Yeah. So like, so they... so lizard men. Lizard men should have immunity too. Yeah, like it should only be humans and maybe elves. like another yeah humans and elves. Yeah. Try flying now, you bastard. You wirem. You're not even a real dragon. Or a wirem. Yeah, you just got hit with the arrow. It's gonna land on its feet. Oh, no. Oof. Oh. That cat did not land on its feet. Uh. I wonder how. Oh, wait. No. He still has eight more lives. They're gonna comment on it, aren't they?
I when's the next episode because that was dope <laughs> yeah I'd rather watch that than play it yeah that looks like a good series. look at these front row shills yeah I know the return of Sai Sahan the legendary red guard swordmaster he's the legendary red guard swordmaster you met as part of the original five companions he's back as the leader of the dragon guard a group of a, a group of dragon hunting warriors you've seen in other Guys, places. come on. This isn't a frat party. Yeah. Leave the obnoxious commentary to the professionals. Moi and moi. Which will complete the season yep. of the dragon. We've got a lot more to share about the return of Sai and the dragon, dragon guard, which will unveil at QuakeCon later this summer. Oh yeah, I forgot QuakeCon's still a thing. Before then, keep an eye out I didn't even know DLC about that. Adventure called Scalebreaker, which you'll see in August. So I'm guessing these are updates. Thank you this is not so the for presentation for the online. fourth we're expansion. Because they're not on their their second. It might be. Might just be you rapid expansions. Awesome. Thank you. Or it might I, be free expansions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. But I keep thinking that's Jack Patillo. But DLC inside DLC, like the Elder Scrolls yeah, well, isn't the like you have to buy well, the Brotherhood. Awesome. We have several other projects, one of which the Dark Brotherhood. You have to buy the Dark Brotherhood to do the, to play the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, well. It doesn't come with the next ex ex expansion or anything, which kind of bugs me. Yeah, because well, hi there, I... hello, random new person. Hi everyone. The room is filled and with now. Bethesda employees. Clearly. Monty Python's video game? Saturday morning cartoon in free to play. Let's take a look. Oh. Wait, I was about to say Dexter? I, I, I'm a fan of the animation style. You know, I'm, al I'm, I'm, al I'm always willing to give stuff like this a try. Because, you know, I really love, you know, the animated point and clicks. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. So, I'm going to just... It's <laughs> what the fuck? No, you can't just have pixelated boy booty. What the fuck? Cool, are you going to show me gameplay? Commander King. Yeah, they're showing gameplay. Gameplay for your cell phone. Oh, but so I don't know. It might be fun. On Commander Keen's family tree, and they're heading to iOS and Android. If you're hearing about Commander Keen for the first Wait. time, it was one of the first PC action games created by id Software in the early '90s. Yeah. Okay, that's why it seemed familiar to me. All right. Okay. It starred boy genius Billy Blaze, whose alter ego Commander Keen protected Earth. All of us at Zenimax Online Studios want to give a really big thanks to our friends at id for trusting us to deliver our modern take on this classic game. <laughs> so, tonight, as we introduce Commander Keen to a new generation of players, we're also introducing the next generation of heroes. Meet Billy. And Billy. Twin geniuses who follow in their famous father's footsteps. The new commanders are, of course, funny and powerful, but the game is also full of enemies, allies, and some really bad bad guys. The two oh. gadgets from household items to save the Earth from certain alien destruction. Drag and drop. Well, that might be fun. Summon allies, attack yeah. enemies, and oh, move yes. through the environment. Choose from a group of contraptions to conquer challenges. And try saying that Oof, kind of that fast. looks like... The twins go on adventures in story mode, which tell some of the classic Commander Keen oh, tales... Oh, it's in comic well book form. Whole bunch of I think I might be playing a regular mode. old Commander Keen soon. Collect power-ups and explore Mars... You hate to see helmet. your childhood heroes become mobile games for shill. Ultra Keen. A real-time, head-to-head race... 
through an alien landscape where you need to control checkpoints and claim the flag to gain ultimate victory. Commander Keen will soft launch this summer on iOS and Android phones. <laughs> All right, I'll give it a shot. I'll pass. <laughs> That's fine. That's so, fair. I don't blame you. Visit gokeen.com to pre I don't even pay attention to the mobile games that I even downloaded. So. Yeah, I mean, I I literally played Duel Links for what half an hour the one day and never looked back. Wow. Oh. See, I didn't even try Duel Links. I just downloaded Kingdom Hearts and Tales and Final Fantasy, and that was it. Yeah, the Final Fantasy game I played for like. Brave Access? Yeah, like two days, and then just eh. Thank you, Kira. I mean, it's a good story, honestly. I yeah. like that. It's just that I just don't yeah, game games on my just, phone. I don't game on my phone. Yeah. Millions of you have enjoyed Fallout Shelter, which has now reached over 150 million downloads. I did download. play the fuck out of Fallout Shelter for a while, though. I played the fuck out of Brave Exvis. Yeah. Final of Fantasy. Card games Brave Exvis. The Elder Scrolls Legends to mobile, so you could experience the Elder Scrolls in a new way. This year, the Legends and community has continued to grow thanks to a lot of takes place, new what? features it's and a... new content. It's a great no, Legends is the card game, right? Or a quick match over a cup of coffee. Um, I'm gonna assume so. Yep. 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 Okay. I thought it was. I thought Elder Scrolls Legends was like a remake of the first, you know, three. I think this is why they sued, um, over scrolls. Over scrolls. Uh, yeah, um. So Notch, of uh, Mo Yang, mm -hmm. made a, a card game called Scrolls, and Zenimax screwed because it was too close to Elder Scrolls. Because oh. Zenimax, you know, they corporate, they do corporate shit. Um. So I guess they were planning on making a card game, so they made this and. I'm expecting that PlayStation guy to walk through the door like, what can I sell for you? What are you buying today? Lad? Is that a drunk crab? Yes. Yes, oh. it is. Oh, that's cool. A <laughs> drunk crab. Today, she will be Do our You want to play a game of Gwent? Uh, wrong franchise. I challenge you I to said. a child's card game. <laughs> it's time to duel. I play blue eyes white dragon. You fell for my trap card. A text message. Everybody's running away. Oh shit, I forgot to take my fucking schizophrenia pills, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, you're definitely seeing you're definitely not what not did they put it. in my coffee i am tripping balls <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what his face is saying oh my god what would, would they drug me with why am i yeah, seeing I'm something just, that's just, not real like if you enjoy i played Yu-Gi-Oh and i played magic and then i gave up because i realized that heroin addiction would be cheaper so <laughs> no, no more card games for me moons of elsewhere i'm trying to get back to uh for pc mac Mobile and tablet. You can head over to Bethesda. All right. To get a fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Content or play it this week in our booth. I'll cool. See you there. Clapping. All right. I mean, hey, I, I'm surprised that they can survive because there's so many card games. Three weeks ago, we released. Yes, there are. But and you know what? I liked it. What? Rage Two. I like it. And now I just don't like it enough to pay sixty dollars for it right now. I got so many other stuff on my plate. But you know, it's it's fun. We've already added you know challenges that reward you just for having fun in the wasteland, and we've got a I'm trying to get back into magic. Oh god, no, don't. You don't have the money for it. Even more unpredictable I mean remember, I sign your paychecks. You, you make shit. But you could help us Insert by here. watching our ads and uh, giving us money. Just give us lots of money. Just mail it to us. Mail us your underwear. No. Well, maybe. The guy who's totally about to die. 
Oh yeah, that's something I noticed is that introducing jump. Sandworm, Ben's best friend. There is a fuck ton of people Cheat just code, just just low gravity. There ejector just, seat. Oh yeah, there's just a fuck ton of people in the wasteland just puking. Just like any time I go into a town, pilot, there's someone pilot. puking. Skull motorcycle. <laughs> that looks cool. Uh-oh. No! No! No buffering. Uh. Well, we're sorry, guys. All right. All right. Well, we just whatever. We'll just leave it as is. Um. Sorry, we're losing they the feet a bit. Rise of the Ghost expansion. Oh. Oh dear God, where's space goes Why? when you need them? Why are there always motherfuckers that want to eat my flesh? Oh fuck me, that's gonna be hard to fight. Oh, but that might help. New pile of little neck. New cheats. All right. New vehicles. All right. Boom. Okay, it's clearing up. All right. That's a new story. New enemy faction. Sam Smug Cliff. <laughs> Alright. Insanity rules. Wolfenstein, the two-player co-op game that we've been waiting for. All right, hold on. Hello, everyone. Let's go back about fifty seconds, and let's just. There we go. That's better. There we go. Just have it just buffer about by fifty seconds or so. No, nope, still kind of potatoey, but better than nothing. Yeah, no buffering. I got a tremendous surprise for you all. Oh, if we if we lose the last minute of the feed, whatever. I mean, we probably will. <laughs> I'm flying. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. There we go, that's a bit clearer. Yep. Please welcome okay. executive producer at Machine Games, Yerk Gustafsson. Yeah, there we go. That guy doesn't look like Legos too bad. Oh, no, it's still kind of bad. Yep. Oh, well. Hello, everyone. After liberating... Oh, well, I'd have it be a little bad than really, really bad. In Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus Let's see what Wolfenstein's all about. This year, we take you back to Europe with two new Wolfenstein games. First, All right. we are bringing Nazi killing... Couldn't beat the last two because they were too damn hard. With, ...with Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot. As cool! As a hacker working for the French Resistance, you will take control of Nazi war machines and turn them against their creators. And it's a Cyber VR game. Will be available this July, and it's playable this week in our E3 booth. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, remember, folks, to wash your face thoroughly after doing that, and or you might get pink eye. Yep. VR, you don't know what you are missing. But as I said, we have two new Wolfenstein games. This summer, we are going to be launching Wolfenstein Youngblood. Oh, okay, that's coming. Cool. Yeah. With a gameplay experience that is bigger than any previous Wolfenstein I believe game, it comes out the 27th of this month. More weapons, Let's find out. Than ever more I'd have to look to at the date on the PSN store. And 
of course, even more evil Nazis to kill. Hmm. Looks fun. She looks bored. <laughs> and in young blood, yeah. you can kill those Nazis with a friend. Oh, co-op, co-op, all right. Yeah, of course. Did you not know that it was co-op? No. Yeah, it's co-op. Where are you getting your facts from? The PlayStation Store. Oh, well, I didn't even know it was on the PlayStation Store. Figured it was going to be on for pre-order tonight. No, it's been on pre-order for a while. All right. And it's up to his twin daughters, Jess and Soph, to track him down. In Youngblood, you can still play by yourself, or you can partner with a pal to double up on shooting, stabbing, and killing Nazis. Which should make the game playable. Because if, if it's like the uh, New Colossus or whatever... When you get stuck in a stabbing animation, you were just you were fucked. If anyone saw you. So that's where we're going. We can find him together. I may have an assignment suitable for two Nazi killers such as yourselves. Nice. I can I I'm definitely want to pick this up. Yeah, this definitely looks really good. <laughs> are they you wearing like robot suits? They are. They're wearing power armor. Ah, and you get to throw knives. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like you get different costume outfits, too. I think you can just change the color a bit. Oh, July 26th. Okay. All right. Neat. Yep. Wolfenstein Youngblood releases on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC on July 26th. Okay, yeah. Though, do I want it on the Switch, or do I want No, you do not want it on the Switch, no. Stop by our E3 booth to play this week. Thank you. All I guess right. I'll buy a PS4. And now, I'd like to welcome to the stage my dear friend. Uh, the nice thing about it is, it's not sixty dollars. Oh, it won't be. It's not sixty dollars. Oh well, then hey, maybe it's we'll like, pick it up and play. It's like thirty dollars. All right, Arkane Studios. Arkane Studios. They really like. They really like showing that one crowd shot. Hi, I'm Dinga Bakaba and game director. You really gotta TV. shut up that one guy. He's too hype. I'm Sebastian Mitton, yep. our director in the same studio. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. So, along with partnering with our good friends at Machine Games on Wolfenstein, we've been working on other projects at Arcane Lyon, and tonight. We're excited to announce our latest first-person action game. It's something innovative, stylish, and different from anything we've done before. Let me begin. Anything you've done before. <laughs> Doesn't mean that <laughs> we've played it. Black Rift. Something like we that. haven't done it. This we've done everything. Of mystery, where our looks can kill. The game takes place during what we say in French is a period of forty. A time of madness. <sighs> and now that we have right. a small taste of the world, let us introduce you to our two deadly rivals, Colt and Juliana. You have my attention. 
It's like an old movie. Or not. Oh, I, I honestly thought it was going to be like... Cartoon? Yeah, cartoony. Okay. Well, this, this graphically looks good, too. Hey, is it me or is that that the guy from The Walking Dead and Hulu? My life's purpose. Shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in the dick. Headshot, bitch. In the dick. Oh. Yeah. The more days I repeat. The longer that I'm out here. The more certain I am of what I have to do. The only way to protect the cycle. The only way to break the cycle. Is to kill you. Interesting. All right. Oh. So every time he die, she kills him. He responds. And vice versa. Yeah. No, it's like the yeah. day repeats itself. Yeah. This is another Groundhog's Day. It's another Groundhog's Day game. Yep. On my side. Definitely. Yep. You called it. Another Groundhog's Day game. All right. I'm in. You're and, in. And, and I think there is a game that is canonical to the Groundhog um, series, like the Bill Murray Groundhog's Day movie. Yeah. It's just it's a VR game. I think. And of course, oh, yeah, that would probably make sense. Yeah, I think they do have a Groundhog's Day game now that I think about it, but it's VR only. Yeah. Me too. Me too, man. That must have been very hard to say. Yeah, maybe... <laughs> Maybe you should have said that in French, actually. Maybe, maybe not. But, but, it's also pretty fucking true. Uh, uh, because <laughs> because we, we will take you on a trip unlike any other. And we really hope that you enjoy the ride. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. All right. It's a wonderful way to get away from all the pressures in life. Uh, I think the sense of community has really helped me as a person because I'm typically very isolated. It's so very I'm wondering. It's brought me out of my shell and stopped being an introvert. I could like be a hero. And you're be only showing us really because you're delaying the inevitable. Meet talented people. Meet people who are in my group that I've only known as a character. I only made more friends online than I have in real life. The games that you, um, bring so we're coming up on close to an hour. I'm wondering if they're going to go for more than an hour. Which is why I'm also fascinated by I don't know. I think we're getting close to the end. Yeah, it seems like they might be wrapping up. Um, didn't it last year they go for like three fucking hours or something crazy like that? For a while. I think we were Maybe. No, I think they went for an hour. Because at the end of last year was Fallout 76. Yeah, I don't know. Is LGBT. It's nice no. to be able to sit down and play these games and feel accepted for who I am. It's really nice to see that their storyline has some sort of emotional effect on me as a player. And I just really admire the creativity that goes into the process of making these big worlds with these amazing stories. Your eyes are soulless. Eh. Only because of the lighting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess they. Worlds and telling these stories. Yep, they're wrapping up. I don't know. Our players. Hi, I'm James Altman, director of publishing at Bethesda. Oh. And I'm Robert Duffy, chief technology officer at id Software. <laughs> Tonight we have some exciting new technology to sh show you that can dramatically improve gaming for millions. 
So for the past two decades, I'm thinking that going for uh, an hour, an hour today, and a half. But with a vision of what can be possible tomorrow. And at Bethesda, we're proud of yeah, because with the uh, PlayStation not going to be here, they don't really have. Um, they have all the time they want. Yeah. They might be going to uh, to ten actually. We were groundbreakers with go anywhere, do anything, open world RPGs. Um, we are the inventors of the first person shooter, which is now the world's most popular form of gaming. Really? We are pioneers in downloadable content and the first to bring mods to consoles. And actually, since we first brought mods to consoles in 2016, there have been one billion mod downloads for Fallout and Skyrim. We, of course, developed the first commercially viable VR technology revealed in our E3 booth in 2012. Yes, that is the original VR headset held together by tape and worn by our very own Tim Willits. Well, I mean, like... Before anyone else. Okay, they Science may. is built on duct tape. We are well known as developers of best-in-class engine technology with our id Tech engine. In a, in, <laughs> innovation and creativity is in our DNA, and all of these advances were done with one goal in mind, to improve player experiences. So tonight, we have exciting new technology to announce. We're going to show you the result of years of research and development. Yeah, I think they're going for another half hour. Yep. You're going to be tired of work tomorrow, man. I'm sorry. Now, it's like fine. You to Orion. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, Captain, my captain. group of patented technologies that optimize game engines for performance in a cloud environment. Orion can work with any game engine and will improve player experiences no matter which game you're playing or whether you're streaming on Stadia, on xCloud, or another streaming platform. So, how does Orion work? The exciting game streaming services you've been hearing so much about have largely focused on hardware solutions to address the complex challenges of streaming. He is very hardcore reading off that script. Uh, we used our expertise He's in not, developing oh. game engine software and took a different approach. By incorporating Orion technology at the game engine level, we're able to stream game content up to 20% faster per frame, leading to a dramatic reduction in latency. In addition, an Orion-enabled game can stream with up to 40% lower bandwidth. And happily, for game developers, Orion technology is easy to integrate with your game build with our SDK. But what does that mean for you? It means that streaming Fucking, games will be I don't faster know. and better with Orion. And Orion substantially reduces the cost of streaming for players and for publishers. So it won't matter if your friends and family are sucking up all the bandwidth or if you live far away from a data center. With Orion, you'll still be able to stream your game at max settings. I will believe that when I see that. Because well, it sounds... They're, they're on the train of... Streaming sounds like now, you're shitting any new computer technology with the bulls. Class, one must ask the bullshit, question. if you will. Can it play Doom? Good well, I guess by law you Can have to ask stream, that. An unrelenting, fluid, first-person shooter with native 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. Let's see. No. Well, they're confident. They are confident. In well, their words. it's confident They're... when you have the good internet. I'd like to introduce Shale Williams, tech specialist from Mid Software, who is showing. I'm not playing on that fucking thing. Live on stage. So that's the. Doom 2016 right now to that mobile device. As you can see, there is no reduction in visual fidelity. Well, I mean, you. At 60 frames per second, without perceptible latency. And we want you all to experience this powerful streaming technology yourself as, as we test and refine it. So for a chance to be among I mean, the you first can easily the fake that. to stream Doom 2016 for free, all you need to do is join the Doom Slayers Club by registering at slayersclub.com tonight. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So wait, how do we get one of those devices that Everybody she has? a little more Doom in their lives. 
Um, doom and gloom. How dare it's, you? It's literally an we'll Xbox see, controller know. hooked up to your phone. I know, but you can you can buy those at like most like 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 mobile kiosks. A little clip function? Yeah. Oh, little clip function. Yeah. Okay, because. Yeah. I'm probably going to invest in what one. Maybe. Is bigger than you can imagine. Cool. Dear God. That is some ugly motherfuckers he's killing. They yep. are no longer your people to save. I just love that. Like, hey, here's a nightmare monster. Murder the fuck out of it. You know, other games. Here's a nightmare monster. Run from it. You. Here's a nightmare monster. Kill it. Doom Eternal. Eternal. Yeah, so, like, they're like, there's less demons in this one. Why? Because you've been in hell for eternity murdering the fuck out of demons. <laughs> like, like, you die. now infected like, the human race. No, no, you're in hell. You went to heaven, and you're like, hey, God, send me to hell so I can murder the fuck out of demons. And you're clearing out hell by just murdering the shit out of all the demons. And then God's like, hmm, mm. you're doing good work. I can I put a storage unit down here. I was like, oh, yeah, nice. I can finally put my stuff back in here. I haven't been able to use my basement in quite some time. Hugo Martin, the game's creative director. As you just saw, we're not just building a world for Doom, it's in the entire universe. Earth is on the brink of annihilation. It's being consumed by demons. And your crusade to save it will take you across dimensions. To locations never seen before in Doom. From heaven oh, you are in Earth. Hell, it, to the huh. Sentinel yeah. home world and well, beyond. So you're in Hell, now you're on Earth in the second one. Well, if that, that lines up with the first one, is that... First when you're in Mars, and then the thing goes to Earth, and then you go to Earth, and... Doom is first and foremost about gameplay. And Doom Eternal promises to be the ultimate power fantasy. The fun comes from mastering the experience... Nah, you should have saved that line for the third one. Slayer, the strongest, fastest demon killer in existence. And nothing can stand in your way. Absolutely. Eternal. Of course, the challenge in Doom is all about handcrafted combat, but also engaging level design. And in Doom Eternal, the game always has something to th new to throw at you, even deep into the campaign. Let's take a look. Smack. Oof. Nice. <laughs> I like how they video gamed it more. <laughs> wow. I love the editing on this. Ah. Oh. This is so bloody and meany, I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, he just made him eat his own heart. <laughs> Thanks. Everybody's getting the you know, screenshot it's today. It's so important to us at id Software that every aspect of the gameplay has real meaning to you, the player. 
Every enemy is different, every weapon has a purpose, and every decision you make really counts. The only path to victory in Doom Eternal is to aggressively control the fight with amazing agility, powerful guns, and critical resources. That's right, I'll tell you, we absolutely can't wait for you to play it. And some of you won't have to wait too long. If you are lucky enough to be in the room tonight, yeah. <laughs> you'll have a chance to play it immediately following the show. What? Yep, they get to play Doom Eternal first. Oh, they get to. Yes. I about to say, let me download that shit right now. But at E3 this week, we'll have Doom Eternal playable in the Bethesda booth all week. Yeah. Cool. Yep. But enough talk. Let's see how it all comes together. And watch as this perfect killing machine goes to work. All right. I mean, I think we saw enough of that, but let's see some more. So this is his shot, shuttle to Earth. God, the graphics look so nice. I really need to bust the old game out. I only got, like, I don't know, a quarter through the other one before I put it down. And just kind of never put it, uh, uh, picked JB it back it. up, you know? Our friend Jay beat it. I watched him. Yeah. Had the big fucking gun ready. With the BFG? Yeah. yeah. BFG, yep, he had everything. Yeah. I'll get back to it. I don't know. I just I've just kind of lost my way with like level shooters because it requires you to pay attention so much more to what you're doing. It does. Because and there's so little story, but at the same time there's big Mounts of story. And there's also, like, a lot of murdering to do at once. Yeah. You know? And, so, like... Like... Like, look how much you have to pay attention just to do this. Where... In an open shooter, or, like, a cover shooter, I'm just sitting there kind of, like, zoning out or doing it, you know? This one, yeah. you gotta focus. Ooh, damn. I like how, like, so many of these are just jobbers to him. Ooh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. He had an enemy ki kill Just imagine, enemy. this is what it was supposed to look like to you back in the 90s. You know? Yeah, and then there's those Easter eggs where you go into the dimen one of the dimensions, and it turns it into the old classic Doom. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you get out of that dimension, it comes back to this type of graphics. Yeah, they like to do that a lot in uh, games. I think there was one like that in uh, like there was the um, Wolfenstein room. Easter egg in uh, Rage that I could never get to for some reason. Even though I knew exactly how to do it and exactly how to get there. This is one, like, open for me. I see. I like how these motherfuckers keep trying to put fireballs on you, but you're like, nah. I'm like some Spartan demon. Fuck you. I'm faster than Master Chief. That's for sure. Master Chief needs to learn how to run. But, you know, in Master Chief's defense, he runs pretty good for a guy who's constantly frozen. Yeah. Damn! <laughs> like Hold you still. Kinda... I gotta cut your throat. <laughs> Eat it! <laughs> Eat it, fat boy. Everything's going in smoke. Like, other games, it'd be like, hey, you need to run from all these. There's too many enemies. And this game is like, hey, you can't leave until you've murdered this entire room. 
Yep, and you have to do it in 20 seconds. Yeah, pretty much. Oh boy, would you look at this. Wow. Oh, boss fight. You are one ugly son of a bitch. Okay, I think we know who won that. Yeah. The guy's literally just sitting there jizzing his pants. Uh, he's like, oh my god. That's amazing. Yeah. You know what? Now I kind of want to play Doom. Yeah, me too. I don't have a Doom. I'll have to buy it. Uh, no, it's Bart for me. I'm not playing it right now. Of what you're going to play this week at E3. Yeah. But I bet a lot of you are wondering, when do we get to play Doom Eternal at our home? Well, next year. You don't have to wait too much longer. Not quite tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> next week. But Doom Eternal will release on November twenty second. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Of course. I kind. I kind of figured. November release date. I kind of figured. But like, Call of Duty's We're coming out in October. So like, what the fuck? Really special for Doom fans. An amazing. Well, we got Pokemon in November. We're really proud of. It. Yeah. So. So, um, everyone's getting an IOU for Christmas. Yeah, you, you, could, wear, you could wear that. Pokemon and Doom Eternal, yes. <laughs> this is like, they're going to have to surgically remove this shit from my face because I cannot get it off. This guy's, this guy's already got it. That's right. Already a badass. He's already got one on. <laughs> All right, well, we've got one more. We have no idea how we got it. We know that you've been waiting to hear about our totally new Doom multiplayer experience. Oh, well, it's multiplayer? Battle. We've been developing this in-house at id, and it's unlike anything you've played before. Yeah, we've been so pumped at id to share this with you. This is pure so... Doom, but with your friends, where two player-controlled demons take on one fully loaded slayer in a fight to the death. This is a first-person fighter where it's demon strategy versus slayer skill. You know, we can't wait because we know you'll love the different play styles of the various demons. Because each has oh, I'll skip battle mode. Attacks, I'll stick with story. Yeah, I mean, it, like, Doom AI multiplayer is huge and all, but like, it's, nah. It's strategic, competitive, and it's a ton of fun. And we can't Just wait imagine, to like right now, you can play Halo, this year, Call of Duty. That's right, a Doom. lot more to share at QuakeCon, like, but before it's, we It's go, like we're back in, like, the, the mid-2000s again. New multiplayer. <laughs> Just... On behalf of our amazing team at ID in Dallas and Frankfurt, Germany, we want to thank you all so much for your support. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right, sounds like they're wrapping up. Yep, of course, I forgot about Doom, so... Well, you know... Oh, they actually showed his face. Slayer health critical. Oh! Slayer kill. <laughs> it's Round demons two. versus... Okay. Alright. So it's not just like... Like Doom Guy versus Doom Guy. Neat. I thought it was going to be Doom Guy versus Doom Guy. I'm sure that's a mode. Where you face like four, three other Doom guys and you just run around the map collecting yeah. guns. Yeah. Battle mode, alright, cool. Activating battle mode. Yep, they're definitely. Another round of applause, please, for Marty Hugo and all of our presenters tonight.
And for everyone at our studios around the globe that have worked so hard in the great games you've seen tonight, we say thank you. 2019 marks 25 years of Doom. So to celebrate, we will be going all out with Doom at QuakeCon this summer. We're adding a whole host of mm -hmm. panels and activities yep. dedicated to Doom, which we call DoomCon. <laughs> yeah, see what we did there? We took out the Quake and put Doom. Yeah, yeah. Real fucking you club. Hang out with us in Dallas at our inaugural event in London. If you can't, please tune in online. Okay. Until they then, need to revive Quake. For more info on I mean, I know they tried to and failed. They need to try again. We'll have hands on with what, revive Quake on? No, Quake. Quake. Oh, the yeah. game Quake. Yeah. I never yeah. played it. So uh, oh, well, of course, because you were like a baby boy. Have a great night. When Quake was like the shit. All right. So I think that was yeah, this is Bethesda. It. What you think? Bethesda, we're in the business of it was okay. Business. Yeah, definitely um, new stuff to the brand. A um, couple new stuff that I'm mo way, I'm really way more interested for that in Tokyo in game. game. Yeah, I'm more interested in the Tokyo game and the time loop game. Um, we get to build these worlds and these communities. And can't wait to see that. Uh, Doom, kind of hyped for. I just wish that. I gotta go back and uh, beat the first Doom. Yep. Um, Rage. I'm happy for whatever is on there. Glad that they're still supporting their MMO, which I did not think they would. I honestly thought it was gonna just be, you know, like whatever. Um, of course, the MMO. I don't really like that idea of that mobile game. I'd rather them just bring back clicking points. You know. I, I'm a click and point guy, so I want the click and point. And I feel like they could really, you know, branch out. Instead of a shooter, a click and point. Strategy game, you click know? Point, yeah. I look forward to the new Wolfenstein. <laughs> I'll probably pick that up. Yeah, maybe. It's only 30 bucks. Alright. Well. See ya. See ya. Bye.